Listen up. This just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. All right. So Gunna has written a letter to his fans from behind bars. And this is all in Mrs. YSL Rico case that he has going on. And... He said, 2022 has been one of the best years of my life. Despite this difficult situation, this year I had the whole world push and pee. Growing up from where I come from in a marginalized neighborhood, I never dreamt my art would change my life and the lives of my loved ones. My entire life I've seen black men, black women, and black children constantly attacked, hated, murdered, berated, belittled, silenced, judged, used, and held captive. Now he goes on to say, the picture that is being painted of me is ugly and untrue. My fans know I love to celebrate life. I love my family. I love travel. I love music. I love my fans. I have all faith that God will grant me justice for the purity in my heart and the innocence of my actions. As a black man in America, it seems as though my art is only acceptable when I'm a source of entertainment for the masses. My art is not allowed to stand alone as entertainment. I'm not allowed that freedom as a black man in America. It is a sad reality that slavery is still alive in America today and still affecting my people in 12 states more than half of the prison population is black one of those states is georgia and he ends it with we will we still push and pee power prayer progress passion productivity praise precision peace prosperity patience pride and persistence okay so that is gunna's letter for you guys uh to hear while he's in prison all right, the final episode of the Wendy Williams show will air this Friday. It is an end of an era, 13 seasons. And Wendy Williams will unfortunately not be present for the final show. A spokesperson said, The final original episode of the Wendy Williams show will air on Friday, June 17th with a video tribute. To the iconic host, the series comes to an end after 13 successful years in syndication. I would love to see Wendy say goodbye. So yeah, is it even the Wendy Williams show though? Has it? When's the last time it's actually been the Wendy Williams show? Does she still get paid? Like, I've never seen anything like this. Well, other people are hosting. I wonder. Like for, for years, I, I believe, right? A couple, two years, a year and a half, something like that. But you know, but shout to the staff when uh, Gia and I was uh, doing a tour for the book. We stopped through there, and it was so nice, so pleasant, so. Uh, and it was, it was a couple of people that actually used to work here. So shout to the whole Wendy Williams staff, man. I appreciate you guys. You guys showed us so much love when we stopped through there. Yeah, I don't even know if I don't know if she gets paid. Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, but they've been using her, you know, her likeness and her name, and I'm sure that name still brings uh brings in ratings. So I would assume she still gets some type of check. I wonder if they tried to get her on the final episode. Mm. All right. Well, Squid Game, the challenge reality series, is coming to Netflix. So that's gonna see contestants competing in games inspired by the show. And the winner is gonna get $4.56 million. So it's going to be a total of 456 contestants, and that's the grand prize. Netflix is saying that is the largest cash prize in the history of reality TV. What they got to do, though. Listen, red light, green light. <laughs> nah, they ain't going to hurt nobody, but I'm curious to what they got to do. You uh, crazy. You think they wouldn't hurt somebody right now? All of this uh, inflation is sky high. You know what I'm saying? People still trying to pay off uh, PPP loans. But what, what all kind do? of other stuff. Like, what could they possibly do? Like, they're not going to hurt anybody. Nobody's going to get hurt. It's, it's got to be safe. You it's know? people it, envy. It's people getting it's people getting hurt out here for money now. What are you talking about? So you can, So you're illegally allowing somebody to hurt someone to get to get paid. I don't know if that's what they're going to do, but I'm just assuming because it's Squid Game. Would it's you compete? Steals. Would you compete? You're going to compete, but nobody's going to get hurt. Well, anybody who does want to compete, that uh, website is squidgamecasting.com. Smart, though. <laughs> you know, they've already I mean, it's going to have to be some extreme two. stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. It's, it's going to have to. It's going to have to be because you've already had like Fair Factor and shows like that. So if you do it based off what we saw from Squid Games, the TV show, the actual game is going to have to be that extreme. Mm-hmm. All right, Meg Thee Stallion is going to be on P Valley. She'll be on there as Tina Snow, though, just to FYI. So uh, that's huge. And by the way, P Valley is doing amazing this season. It's their second season. They're up to episode two so far. It was like a 1,018% increase in viewership from last year, which they say is the largest increase ever at Stars for a series. So congratulations to everybody over at P Valley. Amazing, amazing show. You know I love it. All right, now, um, ASAP Rocky is talking about, he was in Interview Magazine. It was him and Gerard Carmichael. You know, they interviewed 
what they do is they put together two celebrities to do these discussions all the time. And one thing ASAP Rocky said is, rap is in its adolescence and it's been stuck here since Soldier Boy. Before everybody looked 35 and up, when Lil Wayne and Jay-Z and T.I. and Jeezy and Ross was on, rappers looked old. Like we had little Bow Wow and that was it. That all changed with the internet and self-releasing. Now rap is stuck in this braggadocious adolescent space. It's not as mature. And so people believe that Soulja Boy was responding on Instagram Live to this interview. Whether or not he really was, I don't know, but that's what people believe. And here's what he said on Live. Come on, man. No, stop listening to people, bro. Just don't know what the f they talking about on gang. That's what I found out, bro. Be on my Instagram, be on Twitter, be in person, talking, 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 talking about nothing, bro. What is you talking about, bro? What is you talking about? We talking about everything but how to get some money. Every mother, come on, man. All right, so not sure. But I have to read the article because mm -hmm. I don't understand the context. Is he saying yeah, folks confused. used to look younger? Are they are they carried themselves more mature? What is he, I don't get. What, is, what is I he think he's saying? saying rap is uh, is like a braggadocious younger type of space now, where before it used to be a lot more mature. You know, and they looked more I mature. With that. And no, they're all rappers doing braggadocious stuff, but there's other rappers doing a bunch of other stuff as well, right? Mm hmm. It's not just. Everybody's yeah, but, bragging about something. What about? Hmm? Well, maybe ASAP's too young to remember, like Crisscross and uh, a, a Legal and um, another Bad Creation. Like, like I, I don't. I always thought hip hop was trended younger. Yeah, I think he might be too young for that. Yeah, that that was a little. That was before that. Far back, yeah. All right. Well, that is your I'm, rumor report. I, you have to go after that. I was born. In, I was born in 1978, sir. Okay, that's that's the beauty of uh, being 43 years old. You you've seen a lot. You got a bird's eye view of things. Yeah, but you had to go after that. After Chris, he's Cross, talking about when he was coming up. Yeah. yeah, when he was coming up, which would have been what? Yeah, Ten Jay years later, Jay Z was rocking. Ti was young at the time. No, Ti. Who else was rocking during? But that's time? what I'm saying. Like Ti was young. Like all of those guys were in their early 20s. Like, I mean, it was I, so maybe he's talking about the content was more mature. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know. There was so many. All right. Well, anyway. Charlamagne, who are you giving that down to? Uh, for after the hour, we need a doctor named Susan L. Jaros, uh in the Texas Children's Hospital in Houston, Texas, to come to the front of the congregation. We'd like to have a word with them, please. All right. We'll get to that next. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.